All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Tony Ferguson and Max Holloway. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25 minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is eight years his senior. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, presenting the challenger, Max Blessed Holloway. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Tony. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down 
He needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on this. Ah, right, it's crazy. El Kukui gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Slips the left hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Holloway's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, 10 down. Just over two minutes now to go. Nice kick with the right hand. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, nice. Oh. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Oh, damaging knee to the head. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alice Overeem's head. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Second round, straight ahead. Second round now, Tony Ferguson and Max Blessed Holloway. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Oh, big head kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Ferguson's got the tie clinch now. Well, we told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. I'll just get a follow this one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here, champ. I mean, he usually does. He does not let guys off the Tony Ferguson is a guy that has a killer's mindset when he gets you hurt, he's looking to finish. If your opponent has your hand to clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. 45 total strikes have landed for Max Bless Holloway. Well, not necessarily the efficiency you'd be looking for, landing with 36% accuracy against Tony Ferguson. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Holloway gets caught with that punch. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Liver kick, did you take the That's as good a punch as he's thrown on The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike, and he fought well behind the jab. Whoa! Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched gloves. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, four seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by no. So there he is, the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word, it's, it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter hopes they get that one moment to hear and new. And then they want to hear and still, but before anything, you've got to hear and new. And when you hear it, man...